All right, Nick. We uh, let's let's try this again. All right. So uh, March 11th, uh, Premier FC. Um, you're fighting Addison O'Neill. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit about him again. He's good, man. He's good. His uh, his amateur record was really good. Um, you know, people people that knock his record down just don't know what's up. They don't know what's up. I've trained with some of the dudes. You know what I mean? That he's fought. They're all legit. So I'm I'm ready for a tough fight. I'm always ready for tough fights. Okay, speaking of tough fights, you've been in a couple. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about um, your 2-0 as a pro now. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your first two fights on the pro circuit. Uh, I fucking hate them. Sorry for my language. Uh, I did none of what I wanted to do. Um, I appreciate the love that I'm getting from everybody, you know what I mean? Nothing makes me more grateful than the, than the respect that I've gotten from you guys, you know, all the different organizations. They all consider me to be very skilled, which I'm super, super appreciative of, and I'm going to keep working more to get better. And I'm going to get better every day. Um, as far as those fights go, uh, improving from them. Um, the first fight really felt odd with the range. Up. It felt like I was really far away, and he was still able to hit me, and I just it was a weird thing. Like I, I felt like I was way too far away. Um, but I was able to make some adjustments, you know, once when he caught me a few times, I don't think he ever really, like, rocked me, rocked me to the point where I was like, oh, shit. But he, he definitely hit me clean where I was like, damn it, you know, like, yeah. damn it. Yeah. Um, I was able to, to get a hold of him, kind of wear him out a little bit, and then I got the arm triangle in the second round. Um, and then my last fight against Bill Lashley, that kid's legit, man. He's going to be good, you know. And on top of that, I don't think people realize he was fighting up a weight class. You know, he was a 55er as man. So he fought a couple times at 170, but I, I think he's genuinely a 55er. Um, but he's good, too, man. He, he's, he came, and I just, I was off. My head was, you know, there's a couple things, I guess I should, I guess I should reverse that a little bit. There's a couple things I felt great about. Um, really liked, you know, my, my mentality going into the cage, everything was good. Um, I was super calm, even when I was in bad situations, I, I felt great. You know, I was like, okay, I know I need to get here, I need to get here. There was one point where he pulled me off the, off the cage, and I was like, well, I'm going to get hit, but I need to get on the cage again and get back up. And, you know, I did it. I did all that. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that I got the submission victory with a reverse triangle. Um, every single aspect of that fight other than that, I'm unhappy with that. <laughs> and it will haunt me. Not haunt me, but it, it, it definitely gives me something to focus on. It gives me something to know that I don't want anymore. You know what I mean? It gives me something to say, okay, I'm doing Put that away. You know, all that, this feels similar to what I was doing. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I am grateful that, you know, people are ranking me pretty highly, but I think once I finally put it all together and, and everyone knows this. Yeah. You know, uh, there's, a re there's a reason why all these guys are, are talking about me as much, and I don't like to give myself a lot of credit, but I definitely feel like I'm much better than I can show them. Yeah. Um, I, I think a, a coach told me a long time ago, now I know you played baseball in high school. <laughs> yeah. Correct? Yeah. Um, a, a baseball guy once told me that once you think you're the best, that's that's the, the worst thing you can do. Um, so, obviously, you know what you need to improve on uh, going forward um, now obviously no one, no one likes to leave the fight in the hands of the judges um, and you ha have submitted your first two opponents as a pro um, but if, if the, the bell rings at the end of the third round uh, of your next fight um, what do you what do you see you know going forward uh, I, I, I guess you can't really look, you can't look through your next fight. Obviously, um, no one no one ever does, and if they do, it's just foolish. But uh, um, what what do you want to accomplish in this fight to to show the people that the hype is real? Uh, so in this fight, I, I want to fight clean. My footwork is going to be on point. You're going to see good angles, good movement, things that you have never seen from me before. You will see in this fight. Um, I feel like I have been doing a lot of work, not I feel like, I have been doing a lot of work to stand up. Uh, I haven't shown it to yeah. the fights, but I'm going to show it this fight. <laughs> that, you know, he, he's, he's tricky, man, and, but I always grapple with a lot of good people, and I kind of got weird stuff, man. I, I can't tell you that I'm good at grappling. I can't tell you how to grapple. I'm not a good instructor, but I just do some wild shit, yep. you know, that, and, it's, and it's worked for me so far. Um, at the end of the day, I, I want to be happy with my performance. Um, that's that's the end goal. Um, long term, I, I want to be the best. I want to be the best there is. I want to be the best there ever was. And 
That angle is, is the one I'm looking for. In, in between? It's not up to you. know the journey is not up to you. The end of the destination is what I'm focusing on. Yep. And, and things are going to happen in that in between, in that, in that journey. And my job is not to worry about how. Just to get Yep. All right. Uh, tell me a little bit about who uh, some of the guys you got training with you every day. We, we can hear him. We can hear him. Loud ass. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, Don't that. worry, we're not doing <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We... Don't worry about it. Say hi, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so yeah, tell me a little bit about the guys you got, you got here training with you. Yeah, these guys are legit, man. Right. Family. Family. That's all I can ask for, really. Um, you know, I was, I was blessed enough to, to live with my main man, Ken Murphy, for, you know, over a year. And it was... I think one of the best best decisions that I've ever made, you know what I mean? Him and I really got to every night we sit down and talk. And really, you know what I mean? Talk about, you know, not even just how to fight, but just like the mentality, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you know, exactly. Having somebody that you can confide that stuff in, even outside of your coach, even somebody that you can break down, you know what I mean? Your deepest, your deepest depths and insecurities with it. I honestly don't think that's uh, recognized enough as an important thing. Like, you know, it's, it's important to have something like that. Ken's my man until I die, man. There's, no, there's nobody closer than Ken. Um, obviously, that, you know, that great training partner is my coach. Work. That is a piece of shit. Um, you know, we got our jiu-jitsu coach, Brent Kinberger, who's a man. Dude, that yep. guy travels all over Allen back tries to come down to my fights and snowstorms after he gets out of work, you know what I mean? So I got a group of people here behind me that it's just like, it's hard to fail when you have when you have this group of people to have back. You know, it's, it's, it's really hard because even if even if you fail, they're, they're still right there. Now, oh, they go, bad, get going. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't you can't be negative around these guys. It's awesome. 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 Uh, all right, I know I know everyone hates to, to think about the end, but you spoke about the end. You know, at the end of your career. Um, whenever you decide, or whenever destiny decides that happens, uh, what do you want to be known for? What 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 do you want people to say? You know, Nick Alley is, is this type of person. I just want people to, you know, I guess, when people think of my name, I just want to be like, oh wow, motherfucker. You yeah, know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, I just want to do cool stuff. I want to have fun. I want to live my life to be happy with it at the end of the day. I don't give a shit. I guess the best way, you know, I'm going to steal E.T., the hip-hop preacher's line. Uh, people tell me I'm the man. I, I don't really give a shit. At the end game, when I go home and I come to the gym and I see Ed knowing me, you know, we're talking about that time, 20 years. You know, you know talking to Ken Murphy, know me 20 years. My girlfriend know me, you know, like 20 years. Yeah. I want to go home, and if they tell me I'm the man, that's when I know. Like, you know, that's when it's job well done. So everybody else, no offense to them, but, you know, they got nothing to base that off of. As long as I'm happy with my fucking career, myself, I don't care. People are going to hate you if you're good, you know what I mean? So I can't expect the world. Exactly. I can't expect the world. Exactly. Um, now... Uh, you know, this is a tight knit community up here in the Northeast, as far as MMA is concerned. Uh, you know, who who do you watch and say, hey, I, you know that I, I kind of like watching that guy. Is there is there any guys that are that are on the scene now or or have been in the past that that, that you like to watch? Locally, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of good guys, and kind of ironically enough, they've all a lot of attraction. I guess they've all kind of come here, man. Like my, uh, I'm my teammate's biggest fan, you know. So it's it's that. Uh, Stuff to say, like I was a big fan of Ebar, he came up here as a fan of Walter, or Joey, they came up here, you know what I mean? Um, I, I got a few of my homies, like uh, Fabio Tran, he trains down at, at yep. Junico. He's, he's a really, really good dude. I think, I think he's going to go far. Um, and I mean, I, I know this is kind of. Now, Fabio, does, is he a welterweight as well? No, he's a middleweight. He's Thank a middleweight. God, he's a okay. middleweight because uh, he's I, huge. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember just seeing him and being like, wow, you know, it, not knowing his height. You yeah, know, how you big me is this? Like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, no. All right, I mean, there's, there's a ton of good people, and I know I'm probably a dickhead, and I'm forgetting, you know what I mean, a million of them. But uh, just trying to think, of, like, who do I follow on Instagram? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, this. And pretty much everybody I've met before. There's only a few people where I'm like. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I I understand that. That it comes with the territory. Yeah. Um, now. Uh, Give you a, some time just to t tell me anything you want. You got any sponsors? You want to thank anyone? You want to, you know, you know, send a message of any sort? Uh, now would be a great time to do so. You know, I always think about what I'm going to say in times like this, and then I get asked, and I'm like, I have no idea. Um, 
I guess my biggest shout outs are the same ones that I always give, you know what I mean? My coach Ed, Ed Carr, I know all you guys out there at Western Mass, you all know him. He's the man. You guys think he's the man, but when, like I was just telling you earlier, I know him. He's the fucking man. He will give you the shirt off his back and the you know, and it's, the things that I've been through in my life, he's been there for me through everything. That's things that you can't ask of a coach, you know what I mean? That's like, that's things you ask a family. And it's the same with, you know, Clint Murphy's fucking best friend. I tell him, the dirt's in the dirt, <laughs> depths of my soul, you know? Yeah. Um, so thank you to them. And I, you know, I, I don't really have, I have many sponsors. Uh, I got Grace Limousine. Um, the one shout out that I do have to give, he's the man, dude. He's, anybody that's in this area that wants, that is serious about training, fighting, any type of athletic activity, Ryan Selfies at One to One Fitness is the man, hands down. And he's another guy, like, you can't ask people to do the things that he's done for me. He just does it. You know what I mean? And it's out of the goodness of his own heart. And at the time, I was a, I was a 1-0 and amateur fighter. I hadn't fought in two years. You know what I mean? He had no reason to, to have my back. And he's had it since day one. You know, and it's, it's his shit. And then uh, my homie Anthony An <laughs> Oliveira, he's, uh, he's out in uh, Ohio, but... He's out of West Side. He's, he's another good cat. Yeah, um, no, no, I know Anthony myself. You know Anthony? Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's the man. Yeah. That, that guy is. He's a good guy, man. I, I miss the shit out of him, but I'm happy. He's another one, dude. I got a lot of respect for that kid. He's living his dream, you know what I mean? He yeah, just exactly. basically was like, oh, you don't want to be part of this? See ya. Yeah. How he's doing it. So, yeah. it takes a lot of balls. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, shit off the top of my head. Nah. Yeah, man, hey, man. I've, I've, I'm just, you know what? I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to do this every day. Um, I'm grateful to stay healthy. <coughs> I learned a lot uh, when my dad passed away. Um, looking back at his life, I know there was a lot he wanted to do. Um, and he only ever wanted the best for me. So if I can pursue that, it makes me proud for him. You know what I mean? I know he would be proud. Nothing, you know, you really don't get a better feeling than that to know that you know, your parents are proud of you. I know my mom's yeah. proud of me to death, but you know, I think I, I said it the other day. I think one of my biggest regrets is that you know, my dad won't get to see me fight live as uh, much of a pain in the ass as he would have been. It's, it's definitely something that you know, I don't think I'll ever get back, but at the same time, I don't know. Um, it, it gives me something to work towards every day. You know, you sure, I was trying to prove you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I just want to say I appreciate your time, man. Dude, thank um, you, man. Don't thank me. You're, you're the reason that I'm on camera right now. Trust me, you're the reason anybody knows my name. Uh, no, we, 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 we really uh, sincerely want to thank you for taking some time out to uh, talk with us. Any, anytime you need anything, just let me know.